let me introduce you to the TL431 voltage regulator. Looking just like a small signal transistor, its leads are different. Anode, cathode and reference, instead of collector, emitter and base. The use of the TL431 doesn't seem to be that widespread in amateur radio projects, at least of the QRP transceiver variety. However, crystal set builders rave about it. And why wouldn't you? A minimum of parts, hardly more than for a one transistor amplifier, yet it's claimed to drive a speaker even from a diode crystal receiver. Let's put that to the test. This is a conventional crystal set, 70 turns of wire on a ferrite rod, there are taps every 10 turns, and you can use alligator clips to select the best positions for the diode detector and the antenna. Some very simple crystal radio circuits have both the diode and the antenna tapped to the top of the tuned circuit, but unless you're in a remote area and only have one station, then I don't recommend it, because then the diode will load down the tuned circuit and you won't get much selectivity. All the stations will appear as a jumble. So it is important to have tapping points or even a primary winding for the antenna to make the coupling a bit looser and to lessen loading. Moving along, here's a 100k resistor to provide a DC path. It's not critical, it could be 47k or even up to 1 meg. The results will not vary too much. And here is the amplifier circuit. An unusual thing about it, particularly if you're used to valve or tube circuits, is that the anode is connected to the negative or earth side and the cathode to the positive side. The reference is a bit like a base, grid or gate. That's where you apply the audio coming in from the crystal set or other signal source. Anyway, here's a voltage divider which puts a bias voltage onto the reference. In parallel is a 330 picofarad capacitor and coupling the output from the cathode to the speaker, which I use 8 ohms, is a 100 microfarad capacitor. Then there's the resistor between the cathode and the positive supply rail, 9 volts. I used 150 ohm. That worked well, but it distorted a little bit on audio peaks. I reduced its value down to 82 ohm and it seemed to clear the audio up, but the regulator was starting to get a little bit hot, so possibly an in-between value would be optimum. This circuit is not original to me. I'll link some of the sources where I got this from. Suffice to say that I built the first design I saw and it worked first time. This amplifier uses so few parts that you hardly need a circuit board. You could even just solder the components to the back of your speaker. It does sound a little bit overdriven. Maybe a volume control could be a useful addition. This is a set of eight 1.2 volt nickel metal hydride, and we'll give those a go. That's with the earth disconnected. I've made a small modification adding a 10k potentiometer. That connects between the diode and the input of the audio amplifier. 
An unusual thing about it is that even with the volume control turned anti-clockwise, there is a bit of hiss from the speaker. It's also been very skillful at updating it as well, and often the use of... This is about a third to a half volume. Of an electronic sound, I think, to what you get in Arnold's music. In 1997, the London Times published a story... And the distortion is lower. It's not hi-fi, but it's acceptable for a homebrew radio project. and will run for at least 10 years. Its aim is to educate society about the myths of growing older and stamp out discrimination. Robert Tickner again. We think we can we'll just compare it again with full volume. We're creating a growing awareness about people growing older and that it's something to be celebrated. So what this campaign is really saying is that as you get older... The selectivity, as you can hear, isn't perfect and it would be better to tap the diode and or antenna even lower down the coil. Mission ahead of the inquiry and ageing advocate Karen Curtis wants something done urgently to change attitudes. Thailand has deported a woman from Belarus who has claimed to possess evidence of Russian interference in US politics. Anti-union tyranny right across the nation on the waterfront and down the mines you're proud of your creation. Holiday makers from hell. A family of unruly Brits who hit the headlines this week when they left an Auckland beach strewn with litter. When a local woman confronted them, one of their youngest members, a shirtless boy, unleashed. As the clip went viral, reports of antisocial behaviour flooded in from across New Zealand. The group was accused of intimidating waiters and trashing an apartment. They contaminated their food with hair and ants to avoid paying restaurants. And a face-off with police ensued after they walked through a Burger King drive through Auckland's Mayor Phil Goff had this to say. These guys are trash. Um, they sat down there and they drank their beer, they threw their bottles on the ground, they ate their lunch, they threw their wrapping papers across the ground. Uh, the, the people are behaving worse than, uh, than pigs. While it's early days for me, I really like this super simple audio amplifier. On its own, it probably doesn't quite have enough gain to be an amplifier in a direct conversion receiver. However, it's likely to do the job if I was to add an extra transistor preamp to it. Again, a very simple circuit. So why not jump on eBay and order 50 TL431s for under $2 delivered? You'll be glad you did.